Hello and welcome to the Trust's Medicine Safety video podcast. This is actually the second of two parts in which I've been discussing co-amoxiclav. If you missed the first part, it's still on the internet and it tells you a little bit about co-amoxiclav, how it works and some background about the drug. This part of the podcast is going to focus more on how to avoid mistakes when using co-amoxiclav. So I hope you enjoy. So in our trust, we mainly use comoxiclav in three forms. There are these higher strength tablets which contain 500 milligrams of amoxicillin and 125 milligrams of clavulanic acid. Then there are lower strength tablets with 250 milligrams of amoxicillin and again 125 milligrams of clavulanic acid. And finally, there is a liquid or oral suspension, as it's technically known, which contains 250 milligrams of amoxicillin and 62.5 milligrams of clavulanic acid in every five milliliters of the liquid. The mistakes that we see in the trust are often to do with working out the correct number of tablets or amount of liquid to give. And so that's what I want to go through now. Say we have this prescription, each dose says 500 slash 125 milligrams. And this is pretty easy to understand. It would mean giving one of the higher strength tablets, which contains 500 milligrams of amoxicillin and 125 milligrams of clavulanic acid. But very often you'll see a prescription like this one, which says comoxiclav 625 milligrams. In this situation, the prescriber has basically added the amoxicillin and the clavulanic acid dose together. And so we have 500 milligrams of amoxicillin. We have 125 milligrams of clavulanic acid, which when added together gives 625 milligrams. So to give this dose, you would still only need to give one of the higher strength tablets. If we have a prescription that says 250 slash 125 milligrams, again, this is quite easy to understand. It corresponds to one of the lower strength tablets, 250 milligrams of amoxicillin and 125 milligrams of clavulanic acid. But once again, we'll often see prescriptions where the weight of the two ingredients is combined. So the dose reads 375 milligrams. But again, you can see how this is a combination of 250 milligrams of amoxicillin plus 125 milligrams of clavulanic acid to give the total weight of 375 milligrams, which corresponds to one of the lower strength tablets. Things are a little bit more complicated with prescriptions for the liquid. Here we have a prescription for 500 slash 125 milligrams of the liquid. Now remember that the liquid has 250 milligrams of amoxicillin and 62.5 milligrams of clavulanic acid in every five milliliters. But notice if you multiply the 250 milligrams of amoxicillin by two, you get 500. Multiplying the 62.5 milligrams of clavulanic acid by two gets you 125 milligrams. And so to get the right dose, you have to multiply the volume by two as well, which gives us 10 milliliters. So we'd have to give two of these five milliliter spoonfuls to get the correct dose. Say we have a prescription for the liquid, let's say 625 milligrams. In the previous example, we multiplied everything by two to get a 10 milliliter dose, which would give 500 and 125 milligrams of the two ingredients. If you add 500 and 125 together, you get 625 milligrams. So again, the correct dose to give for this prescription would be 10 milliliters or two of the five milliliter spoons. So just some final points to bear in mind about coamoxiclav. It does contain penicillin, so always remember to ask about allergies before you give it. And as for all antibiotics, the prescription needs to be marked with the reason it is being used and for how long it is to be given. And using antibiotics properly means that there'll be less chance of the resistance that we talked about in the last episode of the podcast developing. So thank you for watching the Medicine Safety video podcast.